sure was. Okay, the gentleman from uh, California, Mr. Mullen, five minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Administrator Nelson, for your testimony today. Uh, as you know, the International Space Station is authorized to operate through at least 2030, after which time NASA plans to use commercially developed space stations to support its low Earth orbit research and development. We're nearly halfway through 2024, leaving just five and a half years to ensure that commercial stations are ready and certified uh, for NASA's use. I'm particularly concerned about the risk of losing access to low Earth orbit for research. There are so many important discoveries and innovations that have been developed thanks to uh, NASA providing this platform to do it in space. So could you just share with uh, the committee what the risk might be of a gap uh, in sustaining how low Earth orbit R&D activities should uh, commercial space stations not be ready? And then how might a gap affect our preparedness for Artemis and the development of low Earth orbit uh, ecosystem in general? Congressman, we don't intend there to be a gap for the reasons that you just articulated. Uh, it is so important that we keep this continued presence of being able to not only research on fantastic things like pharmaceutical discoveries that benefit us here on the face of the earth, but also in preparation. Uh, for going further to the moon and to Mars. For example, uh, we would be training our astronauts in zero G in low Earth orbit on a space station before we would send them to the moon or to Mars. And uh, so those are just a couple of examples of why it's important. And we do not intend for them to be a gap. And, and thus, it's all the more reason that as you all give us direction uh, in the authorization bills and as you partner with your appropriations committees in giving us the financial means in which to do this, that we continue to have the development of this commercial space stations that will take the place of when we want to deorbit the space station because it's getting old and we want to deorbit it in uh, 2031. Thank you for that. I appreciate your optimism uh, and thank you for your testimony, sir. With that, I yield back. 